joining us now. Columbia Law School graduate, co-founder of the Harlem Jets Youth Football Program, and a coach, Tyson Pratcher on the Deseret First Credit Union Hotline. I guarantee he's focused on football right now. Tyson, welcome to BYU Sports Nation. Thank you so much uh, for having me. It's great to be here. Hey, absolutely. Tell us, uh, in your words, the story of how the Harlem Jets and BYU football got together to make all of what happened recently happen. Yeah, it, it uh, literally, I, I guess, I mean, a few months ago, we, we got a cold call uh, from, I think, the director of player development, uh, CNA, and he said, um, you know, uh, you know, Coach, uh, Coach Kalani is, is, is interested in coming to New York, and I, I think it's an outgrowth of um, uh, Coach uh, uh, Lavelle Edwards, who I, I think did a, a mission uh, to New York City, and he kind of wanted to do something to kind of honor his, uh, his legacy. And just so happened uh, that CNA who did his mission in Harlem uh, and, uh, and had seen us and, and knew about uh, our success uh, and suggested that uh, we'd be, we, we be the first team uh, that they uh, conduct a clinic for. And so uh, we, we, we thought it was a prank call. It first took us a couple of days <laughs> to, to, to get rounded up. Uh, to call him back, and I said, well, if it is a prank, it's a pretty, you know, intricate prank because the guy is on the website. <laughs> and it doesn't bring to the mission in New York, so we better call him back. <laughs> so, Tyson, what did you know about BYU prior to this collaboration? Uh, you know, I think, you know, I, I probably knew a little bit more than the others. I, you know, I, um, you know I'm a huge uh, college football fan, and, in fact, when I was in high school, uh, uh, and from Memphis, Tennessee, we, we, we were running the air raid offense. And so BYU was one of the few places that was throwing the football back then uh, in college football. So I used to spend a ton of time uh, watching, uh, watching BYU uh, football uh, over the years. And so, uh, you know, we, so, so, so from a football perspective, it's, it's certainly a place uh, that, we, uh, that, that, uh, that, that I at least had, had a fair amount of familiarity. I also had, a, a, ironically, a high school teammate of mine from Memphis who, uh, who went to BYU uh, for undergrad. So, so I, was, I was pretty familiar. Very good. Tyson Pratcher, co-founder of the Harlem Jets Youth Football Program, with us on BYU Sports Nation. I can assure you that this live program is also not a prank, Tyson. This is actually yeah. This is really happening right now, Tyson. <laughs> What was the best part about that opportunity that you recently had with BYU, in your opinion? You know, it, it, it was a really magical day. I, I think that uh, uh, the, the, the best part of the day was probably, you know, there, there, were, there were two sections. Uh, you know, there, were a lot, there was a lot of football done that day. Uh, but we also did a, a service project uh, with the team and with uh, many of the, uh, of the wives putting together uh, care packages for the homeless. Uh, and so the kids got to do that, and then they also got to sit uh, with, with, with the players uh, to talk about, you know, setting goals and staying focused and, uh, you know, the importance of making uh, good decisions. And so I think if there really was a highlight, it, it, was, it was probably those two, uh, two pieces of the day. Now that you've had an opportunity to be around Kalani Satake and the players and get an idea of what the program is about, what are your impressions of Coach Satake and the program? You know, I, you know, you know, we had a ton of respect for them coming in. But one thing I will tell you is that um, uh, in New York City, and, and particularly uh, in Harlem, uh, they can tell a fake and a phony from a mile away. And so I think that what really came through with them was just how authentic they were. Uh, and from the first moment uh, that they got off the bus, uh, you know, it was just a real connection. And you could tell uh, that they really cared about the kids. Uh, and they really had a real commitment uh, to, to, to really service. And you could see by the, the number of uh, family members they had and the way they interacted with the kids, a real commitment uh, to family. And, you know, for us, um, you know, it, um, you know, it, was, it, was, it was just a, a, a remarkable, remarkable thing uh, to be a part of. And I, I told him, you know, it was, it was tremendous to see, uh, to talk to Coach Kalani, as impressive and probably, in our case, probably more impressive was, uh, not more impressive, but just in a different way, was, was, was the players, right? I mean, you know, we have a ton of college football players, and, you know, we spend a lot of time with them. But just the class and integrity and how, you know, great they were with the kids. And, you know, it's, 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 it's like we're on the first name basis. I mean, those guys, Tanner and, and Butch and Michael Shelton and Bronson and Corbin, you know, it, you know, I feel like I've known them for a hundred years when I'm calling their names <laughs> now because it was just such a, um, just such a, such a, such a phenomenal, phenomenal blessing. 
Yeah, it's hard to explain to somebody the real and genuine and sincere nature of Kalani Satake and his players to someone that hasn't met them. But but once you do, 100% of people agree with what you just said. And and how about the Heisman Trophy winner, Ty Detmer, hanging out in Harlem, talking with and mentoring your coaches and players? He's one of the most down-to-earth superstars that I've ever met. Well, well, well I, w- I will tell you this. I, I I wanted the kids to have a good time, but leading up to it, I said I, I actually only have – uh, one goal for this event, and that's to to uh, play catch with Ty Detmer, uh, <laughs> uh, because he's someone uh, who I, who I grew up really idolizing. I, because he was always I, I played quarterback in high school, and I was like the, the the short quarterback, and so I always followed him in the shotgun, being <laughs> being the short quarterback. And I'm also a, a Philadelphia Eagles fan, and so funny enough, uh, uh, Ty Detmer is one of the first people on the field. We have, despite the fact we have a few Eagle fans. And one of them uh, literally ran over to him, a 300-pound coach, and just embraced him in a way I think may have made Ty Demmer a little uncomfortable because it was a full body hug. So I think <laughs> everyone there uh, was uh, was super excited uh, to have him there and to uh, to spend some time learning from him. Uh, but he was just he, he was wonderful and just patient and um, you know as uh, as as good as advertised. You know, Tyson, you, you've gone over everything. You know the the interaction, the one on one time that the coaches and the players had with your with your team and your program. Ultimately, what kind of an impact do you think this camp with the Cougars will have on your program? Yeah, you know, I think, you know, we've had, uh, and it's for the coaches, we talk about this, you know, we've had uh, a lot of really good days, You're right? We won national championships. We have, you know, 30 whatever kids, 30 some odd kids and in, in playing college football. Uh, this was easily, in our estimation, the most impactful day uh, we've ever had. And so, uh, you know, it, it, it's, it's, it's impactful from the perspective, from many perspectives. One, just, you know, the integrity and what BYU football stands for. And, in fact, they were selecting an organization like ours, which we think kind of validates the work that we've been doing, not football-related, but just, you know, in terms of building better men. Uh, but the, the, and 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 kind of parallel to that, the biggest impact was probably not uh, football related for our boys, right? Uh, it's not every day that someone comes 2,000 miles and brings you know 70 people with them, um, and it really kind of demonstrates to our kids that you know you know they know we love them, uh, uh, but it also demonstrates there are other people out there who love them too, uh, and so. And that there really are good folks in this world, and that uh, you know, if you're doing the right thing, uh, good things can happen to you. And I think that uh, what happened uh, last Saturday in, in Harlem was just a really good thing, and just really, uh, you know, a phenomenal experience. Uh, really, kind of a uh, once in a lifetime deal uh, for our kids. Tyson Pratcher, co-founder of the Harlem Jets Youth Football Program, with us on BYU Sports Nation, discussing what happened with members of the BYU football staff and some of the players last Saturday in Harlem. The Jets are run by an all-volunteer staff founded by five friends back in 1996. What was the motivation behind f- establishing and forming a youth football program like this? You know, it, um, we, and, and I apologize, that we may have written 1996, actually 2006. Oh, but, 2006, but, but, okay. But, but, but I apologize, uh, but... The, the, the real impetus for us is I think we all have similar stories. Uh, you know, I was, you know, as I mentioned, from Memphis. I was born in a single-parent uh, household, in a tough neighborhood. Uh, and the guys who really uh, made a difference for me uh, were my youth football coaches from the third grade, who I, who I still talk to to this day, Coach McKinney, um, uh, all the way through high school. And, 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 and ultimately, you know, it worked out, and I, I got to Columbia. But, but, but things just don't work out on their own. They work out because someone – uh, is interested in you, and so I think all of us have similar stories about the impact that that, that youth football coaches had on us. And it wasn't really youth football uh, in a very competitive way in New York. And so we decided we're just going to try to build it. And so we really kind of started thinking that this would be uh, something that you know, at a minimum, you know, I think that our goal was just simply to have an impact on the kids. It's turned into a lot more, and I don't think we ever thought it would turn into what it has turned into. Uh, but it was just about you know. You kind of have to give back, and so you know we're all here because someone uh, cared along the way, and um, and we thought there was an opportunity to do something uh, to, to play it forward in Harlem. So Tyson, would it be fair to say that uh, the BYU's made a a new fan, and you will be cheering on the Cougars this year? 
Well, let me tell you, I think that I think that they came to Harlem and made about 2,000 new fans. Uh, I, I was on the, the BYU website ordering uh, the, the, the hat with the Y on it uh, on uh, on Saturday evening. And we're 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 planning a pretty big uh, a pretty big celebration for the LSU game. So we're gonna, we're gonna we're gonna bring the kids in and have a, a big view and and get decked out in blue and uh, cheer the Cougars on. Oh, I That's love awesome. it. That's great. I love it, Tyson. It's great to have you be part of uh, BYU Sports Nation. We wish you the best of luck with the Harlem Jets, and it's uh, great to talk to you.